Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Reagan. So let's start from his stats. I must say that he is probably one of the best character with best passive because if you take a look on Brave Ship form, he gets 300% on all stats boost and 200% health and MP. So that's really insane, okay? It's even better than real Neo Vision. But even his normal form, it is not bad, okay? He gets tanky defense and spirit, 130% defense and spirit, and 140% health. The attack boost only 200%, but again, it is just your usual number that you get for DPS character. So I can say both normal and brave ship form are totally amazing. And on brave ship form, he has two fatal damage protection, okay? This is really nice. and. He casts 200% limit burst damage buff every turn, and he already have 200% limit burst damage. So wow, he has 400% limit burst damage buff every turn on Brave Ship form. Really amazing, right? And for killer, he gets 100% demon and human killers for both normal and Brave Ship form. But again, on Brave Ship form he gets additional 100% demon killer buff every turn so really guys if you fight against demon you really want to bring regan into the battle because he is really that amazing okay so that's all for the stats okay let's talk about the normal form so on normal form i can say you don't need to care about his old skills especially the thing like uh, break stats buff because they are really low so for the neo vision he gets a brand new mirror of equity chain okay it deals 72 times damage and the extra thing about this mirror of equity chain is it inflict damage over turn okay damage over turn may be not that meta on current standard but Yes, it may be nice for extra damage every turn, and he gets passive that will increase old skill damage modifier, okay? So you get like 152.5 times mirror of equity chain, but the downside is you can only use it every 5 turns. So yes, he doesn't have grandest ability, but because of this cooldown ability, I can say that this is his grandest ability, okay? Not that big but still pretty good especially if you just transform from brave shift into normal form okay because your brave shift lasts for four turns so once you go into normal form you can use this mirror of equity chain to inflict quite nice damage and talking about element he is true dual wield character so you don't need to worry that much but again if you really want to equip best gear that you have then you usually equip non-elemental weapon in that case he can imbue himself with fire and ice elemental for five turns and he also able to imperil those elements by 100 to 110 percent so this is another thing i don't like from him because the meta right now is 120 percent trust me 10 percent matters okay and for the buffs he can still give you 50% all elemental resist. Not all, okay, actually. He cannot buff ice and thunder element, but I guess it's quite nice, okay? And for limit burst here, I really against you to use this limit burst because I can say this is crappy, crappy, crappy damage and the damage modifier is also useless because you probably won't use Octo Strike Blade. Okay, your Neo Fission ability is much better than Octo Strike Blade, and the Imperil it is simply underwhelming. 100%. The meta right now is 120%. So, if you really need Imperil, then it's better to use that 110%, which comes from cooldown ability. It is also chainable with Mirror of Equity. Okay, so you don't risk disrupt your mirror of equity chain on that turn okay so save your limit burst crystals from brave shift form so let's talk about brave shift 
So his breath shift passives are amazing, but what about the abilities? Still, on breath shift form, he can still chain with Mirror of Equity, but I don't think you want to do that because his breath shift form is non-permanent. So if you change into breath shift form, what you use, what you want to use is Stardust Ray Chain because his Stardust Ray Chain deals better damage than average chainer because like you know that the average damage is 72 times but this Stardust Ray Chain deal 100 times damage modifier it also deal 50 times damage every turn nice and he also has cooldown ability which you can use it every two turns and it deals 200 times too bad it is locked to light element but if you can if you can use light element on the battle let's say you pair him with let, let's say star starlight elena who able to imperil light element then i can say they both of them are good partner okay because with this ability that means you can deal 400 times stardust ray chain damage that's high okay because 70 like i said before 72 times are the average damage modifier so even if you triple cast you only deal like 210 times this mean regan can deal almost double the damage the damage output from the stardust ray chain okay very amazing he's still able to imbue himself with fire and ice but on this form he cannot imperil so make sure you have other source of imperil okay and the unique thing about this form is he can become a tanker with his nice defense and spirit boost it's quite nice but again maybe it is it is not good i mean you cannot make him into a tanker because this aoe cover only lasts for one turn sure he gets nice 90 percent damage mitigation so use it only on emergency situation okay so very nice his grandest ability i must say this is the most ungrandest grandest ability okay because the effects mm, it is simply bad only all only all allies resurrection what but it is nice as a backup okay now let's talk about the limit burst so his limit burst is amazing why i say that because like i have mentioned on beginning he at least has 400% limit burst damage boost okay so that means this lb already deals 750 times damage on its lowest if you get better equipment which increase which you can increase your limit burst damage into let's say 300% limit burst damage it will deal better damage okay so this one is nice too bad you can only chain it with duplicate so again it's kind of disappointing maybe on dark vision you cannot use this limit burst because it will interrupt your chain so on dark vision you want to use regan as stardust ray chainer okay so that's all about brave shift form now let's talk about equipment so for normal form you only need to think about boosting his attack stats to the max after that you can focus on faster LB rate, you can focus on killer, whatever you want, okay? And for Brave Shift, it is the same, but on Brave Shift form, it is really easy to max his stats because he already gets 300% innate boost on all stats except health and MP, okay? So that means to increase his damage, you need to invest on killer because he already gets maximum true dual wield his limit burst damage already really close to full okay 200% limit burst damage you can only max 300% limit burst damage okay so really guys the key to use regan is giving him killers because again if you take a look on the damage modifier of his limit burst i can say maybe it is not that big deal okay because if you remember tifa Tifa can deal 160 times. Tifa base limit burst damage is 160 times. So yes, not much, but it is still 10 times better. I mean, 10 times damage modifier higher 
than Regan Limit Burst. But again, Tifa doesn't have luxury of insane stats boost. That means Regan can get better killer and able to out damage Tifa on certain uh, certain situation if you able to gear him right. Okay, so that's all for equipment. Now my conclusion for Regan. So like I mentioned before, his greatest asset is amazing stats. Okay, with those awesome stats, you can make him into flexible in quote killers. Okay, you probably have like three ability slots for Brave Shift Regen. You can give him with Dragon Killer or whatever you want. Okay, really amazing. And his Stardust Ray chain is above average. So you can use it on Dark Vision, especially against Demon. Yeah, basically you can use him on almost all situation if you have the abilities equipment that increase killer on that situation because his stats is simply amazing. Okay, the only thing I don't like from him is his Brave Shift form only lasts for 4 turns. So it may be not that important on Dark Vision or short term battle, but if it is long battle, be careful. Because before you able to transform back into Brave Shift, you need to wait for 4 turns. So his normal form is not necessarily a bad thing, but yes, it is inferior than his Brave Shift. So you want to make sure you end the enemy as fast as possible. And his Limit Burst Chain need a duplicate, which is not a problem on trial because you can always ask your friend to gear your Regen, but for Dark Vision content, it's bad. And his Trust Master Reward and STMR, I can say they are mediocre, especially the Trust Master Reward. Many abilities can increase you like 70%, even 4 star Trust Master Reward. But this one, it requires you to equip 2 type of weapons and only gives you 60% attack boost. So it is not something you want to chase. Okay, probably only useful for himself. And for the STMR, it is not bad, but again, the greatest strength of this STMR is the Elemental Resist, which is kind of niche. That's why I don't think you need to get it that much. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about Regan. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brabex Fuse Guide. Bye bye, guys.